Two decades later, lasers are finally entering the battlefield. The Boeing company redesigned its Avenger Humvee system to include a one kilowatt solid state laser to its onboard arsenal. It was designed not to target enemy soldiers, but improvised explosive devices and unexploded ordnance that threatened US troops. The laser is located here in the turret. And then it feeds by an optical fiber up to the beam director, where the light is expanded and stabilized. Then it's emitted from the front of this aperture here out to the target. Unlike a normal light, a laser beam is coherent, directional, and extremely intense. This is the gunner's console. This is where we control all of the firing mechanisms of the vehicle, as well as uh, turret control. Uh, to move the turret, you pull back on the yoke and left, right, moves that, and then you have up, down, your elevation axis. When you acquire a target, we will change the field of view to zoom in on the target, and then you engage the uh, power settings, and pulling back on the trigger, engage the laser. Basically, we align the beam so that a small spot size appears onto the, uh, the munition and then it causes the outer casing of the munition to heat. And then that heat flows inside and causes the high explosive to detonate. Watching a short-range ballistic missile target being destroyed by a high-energy laser mounted on a modified Boeing 747 while both are in flight. The Missile Defense Agency's airborne laser test bed reportedly carries a megawatt-class high-power chemical oxygen iodine laser that's coupled with precision pointing and atmospheric correction equipment, and it is now proven capable of knocking a ballistic missile out of the sky. Onboard sensors detect the boosting missile, track it, compensate for atmospheric disturbances, and then blast the target with the laser, heating the boosting ballistic missile to critical structural failure. The entire event, from launch to target destruction, took less than two minutes in the test. The system is the result of a cooperative effort led by Boeing, in partnership with Northrop Grumman, which supplies the laser, and Lockheed Martin, which is developing the fire control system. The aim is to deter enemy missile attacks by disabling the attacking missiles while they are in the boost phase. 
That means hitting a target capable of 4,000 miles per hour with a beam of light traveling somewhere close to 670 million miles per hour. As you can see from this cockpit camera view, the relative motion can seem quite small. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency hopes similar devices will one day be capable of tracking and attacking multiple targets at a range of hundreds of kilometers at a lower cost than current technologies. Thank you.